goal is from Rochdale. It's a second goal for St guiding it through the defenders. To be used, and we've got one coming on now. Sin. On the attack here. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Into the last five minutes now. And it's coming to a terrific conclusion, this game. Well, suddenly they could be passed, threaded through. In with a chance. Striding forward, purposefully. Real opening now. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Picked off by the defender there for what could have been a potentially match-winning pass. In the, this could be a chance. Looking for teammates in the middle. It's in! Oh, could that be the decisive moment here? Very little time left. It's a wonderful time to score. They're absolutely delighted. It's a great moment for the goal scorer and for his team. It surely won the game in the dying moments. It must have, and it was a really good take as well. Didn't have much time in the box there. Excellent piece of defensive play under some pressure, I must say. And that's going to be a corner and a chance for this team, maybe, to level up the match in the closing minutes. He's put in the corner. Made away, well away from goal. That's it, final whistle. English Football League One. Barnsley, four. Shrewsbury Town, nil. Bristol Rovers, nil. Millwall, one. Burton Albion, one. Charlton Athletic, one. Doncaster Rovers, one. Berry one. Exeter City, nil. Walsall, one. Mansfield Town, nil. Blackpool, nil. Milton Keynes Dons, one. Wickham Wanderers, nil. Plymouth Argyle, 2. Southend United, 2. Portsmouth, 1. Oxford United, 2. Rochdale, 1. Scunthorpe United, 2. Rotherham United, 3. Gillingham, 2. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain Millwall with 61 points. In second, Scunthorpe United with 55 points. In third, Bristol Rovers with 46 points. In fourth, Oxford United with 46 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fifth, climbing the table are Milton Keynes Dons with 44 points. In sixth and falling are Shrewsbury Town with 42 points. In seventh, rising up the table are Barnsley with 38 points. In eighth, moving down, are Portsmouth with 38 points, but only behind on goal difference. Bottom of the table, Blackpool with 13 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Rochdale with 15 points. Third bottom, Southend United with 27 points. Fourth bottom, Berry with 28 points, but only behind on goal difference. Fifth bottom, Gillingham with 28 points.
Well, this is a game from the League One. I'm Martin Tyler, and Alan Smith is with me. Pleasure to be here, Martin. Don't wait. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Two banks of four. 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see it quite so often these days, but uh, that's a classic formation and uh, really capable of causing problems here today. For right. Well, two teams in the lower half of the division so often in these cases, they play with a little bit of fear. I hope that's not the case today, Martin, because for all their struggles this year, they both have got some exciting players in the ranks. Now, this is an interesting attack. And shoots! And the ball's gone out for a corner. Corner swung in. Shots on here. Good work by the goalkeeper. It's tough in any football team when the goals aren't going in and for the visitors today, that's the situation they find themselves in. Well, everybody bears responsibility, not just the strikers at set pieces, the defenders going up. Here's Bridge. Goal news from Charlton. It's a goal for Bristol Rovers. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. And he gives it back to him. And the ball's with Bridge. Good foot, and he could get away here. Now he can cross it. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Chance to put it in the box from here. And he's trying to get it away in midfield they've got it back via an interception there's some potential in this move he's gonna try his luck well they've all gone to the defender to say well done but i think the guy who had the chance really should have scored well he had the chance to uh, get his shot away even though he had to take it quickly should have done better well frustration from the manager but by the same token his team are playing well they might have gone ahead there but they'll get another chance is right. Turn pass. Exeter City. They need a better showing and certainly a better result than their last game, that home reverse against Walsall. Yeah, it didn't lose by much, just by the one goal. One. In with a chance. In really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. Probing the pass on the attack here. Real chance. Oh, it's a brilliant goal. And it was worth the wait. He's taken the chance very stylishly indeed. And it's given them advantage at last. They've worked hard to get it. And goodness me, they're celebrating it. He took a chance to get in there and the ball just fell perfectly for him. Couldn't miss from that. No, he couldn't. Point blank effort. But uh, you have got to be in the positions, haven't you, to miss? 34 minutes played. It remains 1 1. So well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Comes in with a tackle. chance to get level here well it certainly was good move too and give him another chance i think he might take it craig played down the wing keeping the wide attack going well, it's over hit isn't it and it's the goalkeeper's ball Well, only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. Neatly intercepted. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time.
kickoff here for the start of the second half. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Alan McAnally right on the button to tell us about a goal that's just happened elsewhere. It's a second goal for the home team. 50 minutes played. 2-0. Guided through. It's looking good, this move. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. He could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Here is Rodriguez. Could be dangerous. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. On the attack with real gusto a moment or two ago, but it rather left them dismayed in the end. Could score! Two in front now. Well, keep the concentration and they've won this match, I think. Right on the spot to score. That's not the hardest goal he's ever scored, but he was in the right place. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. And the ball's with Bridge. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Saw the goal and went for it. Well, that could be an important moment. That would have got them right back in the match. Well, they hadn't had too many chances, and uh, I think that miss could cost them in this game. Goal news now from Scunthorpe. It's a second goal for Scunthorpe United. 63 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, I like the look of this attack. Striding forward, purposefully. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. It's well read by the goalkeeper. But he still had no margin for error as he dived on the ball. Well, you've got to be a good keeper-sweeper these days, haven't you? And he certainly showed that here. Well, he could be in. Good defending. Possession changes feet. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Steered through. They can get one back now. I know all of you listening want to know whether this is a done deal or not. We can tell you it's not done, but it might be close, but that's still speculation. Yeah, it does seem to have been rumbling on for quite some time. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if it does get sorted pretty soon in the next week or two. Now, this looks promising. Has to score! Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away even though he had to take it quickly, should have done better. And the manager deciding to go for it and bring on a new player. It's looking good, this move. Good vision here. He's through here. Credit to them, they're still having a go here. Although if they got that one in, it really would have been game on. Yeah, I mean, two goals down, but they haven't played badly. And if that had gone in, they'd have gained some faith and confidence. Here's Robinson. On to the attack now. Nile Ranger. They've got the ball in that wide area there via the interception. Goal news from Blackpool. It's a goal for Blackpool. Three minutes remain. 2-1. Well, many thanks. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual. Trying to switch on the attacking pack. Trying to get the ball in behind. Well, that is a moment really to look back on with horror because... They're not going to have many more chances to cut back this deficit. Yeah, what a chance. I mean, listen, it's late on. It might not have made a difference, but it would have given them a squeak of a chance that. Added time coming up. There'll be two minutes of it. McLaughlin. That's it. Final whistle. And that's 
it. They're on a decent run at the moment at this stage of the season, and another win to extend that run. And yeah, they can't wait for the next game to come around. That's what it's like when you're picking up three points. That'll be no different. It's a brilliant win for the visiting team. Not really a result that we saw coming, I have to say. No, I didn't think they would... Uh... English Football League 1. Blackpool 1. Peterborough 2. Charlton Athletic 0. Bristol Rovers 1. Gillingham 2, Barnsley 1. Mansfield Town 0, Doncaster Rovers 0. Millwall 2, Portsmouth 1. Oxford United 2, Rotherham United 0. Scunthorpe United 2, Milton Keynes Dons 2. Southend United 0, Exeter City 2. Walsall 0, Burton Albion 1. Wickham Wanderers 2, Shrewsbury Town, nil. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Millwall with 64 points. In second, Scunthorpe United with 56 points. In third, Bristol Rovers with 49 points. In fourth, Oxford United with 49 points, but only behind on goal difference.